is going on guys this is tony from team divine pro here sorry i haven't been around for a while but uh things have been hectic and i do apologize but um i am back today with a new well not new but like a uh, deck profile so today for all of you of you guys who have been cardfight vanguard followers for my channel i do apologize that i haven't been uploading much but um you know format's been kind of i haven't been playing cardfight vanguard a lot because uh Really, there's no, nothing that has, has interested me, so the game's kind of gone dry a little bit, because, uh, you know, extra, the boosters came out and all that, but there isn't much to change, like, uh, BT09, personally, I didn't need anything from BT09 or anything, I'm just waiting for the brick rides to come out, and, uh, gonna probably make Revengers, maybe Liberators, it all depends, I don't plan on making Eradicators, because, like, even though they are great, I just do not like the art, although Dragonic Descendant is pretty cool of a card, but that's another that's another point for another day. So today, um, I know I haven't done one in a while, so I'm just going to do it on the Shadow Paladin deck that I have, the PBO. And Ildona is good, but uh, I just like having Shadow, uh, this, because let's, come on, let's be honest, this this looks way cooler than uh, anything that Ildona looks like. So we're just going to go with PBO today. Uh, I haven't really made drastic changes, but... I will tell you what I discovered through my testing. So, full bow, uh, only starter as of now. Uh, Dark Goat might come out later on as announced, but it will be in the uh, promo for uh, tournaments or anything. So, then I might need that as a trade. So, when you do get that, uh, possibly trade me for it because I might want it. And then, now moving on to the rest of the deck, we play 8. We play 4 PBO. I didn't know this before, but his effect is a... Uh, Activate it's an uh, auto or activate. I don't remember auto, but anyways, I don't use his effect that much But I did not realize that I could do it While uh, no actually no, never mind. No, yeah, I watched the video was wrong. Never nothing. Nothing. I was right and uh, For Phantom Buster over now him I usually use more Phantom Buster over dragon him I use more of because like his effect is more potent, if I would say, because this guy is just the 13k body, but you need his other guy to do the ability to get the critical and everything, whereas him, you just have to get rid of three, which is a lot easier. Now, I will say that it's sometimes better to have this, but sometimes when I, when I do have both in hand and I do have the Nightmare Painter, sometimes I will just ride this first, then go for that, because... I've noticed that sometimes, even though I do have 13k body, it's not that big of a deal to dex, especially when Break Ride will come out, it's not that big of a deal. And sometimes you just want to have the early pressure, so this applies more pressure than him, because you need to have this, unless if you do have this in hand, then congrats, but most of the time you want, you'd rather use him first, then you just ride on top, and then that's it. You have a 13k body, because that's all the deck is, because... The combos for the Maka and like Nightmare Painter, that's pretty much just to get this into soul, so you can have a 13k body, but the deck doesn't a doesn't actually go off for his ability unless if you actually just by chance get it. So really, this the deck relies, I would say heavily, on him. So that's why I've run 4, some people would run less, but I would probably run, I run this many just because of the fact that I do need the, the card and I prefer using it then. His older brother or upgraded version. So that's it for grade threes. That's uh, eight. As for grade twos, I run 11. I run two Buster Darks. Now, people keep on telling me that one is enough, but like uh, I should be running one. But I have had the. Like, if you look in Japan, they've always run two because if you realize what happens is that even though. Because you could ride this. You could uh, have the check this in damage before it even gets to your hand, or you might not have the, the ride chain. So you want to have this so that you can at least draw into it, so you can use the Nightmare Painter to soul charge it in, so that you, if you're not, you don't have him, you, and you're stuck on him, you at least have the 18k, 11k body, which is a lot better than 10k. So you want to have at least two to see him more frequently, even though you do have the full battle ride chain. It's a lot better, because if you miss the ride chain, then you're kind of messed up. And this at least guarantees you to have it for him. Because just like a Spectral Duke, if you don't have it, but you at least ride this on top of, say, like a Charon or something. And then you ride him on top, you at least have the 11k power. 
so it's just there to so that you see it see it a lot more. Then we play four masquerades. Now some people keep on uh, some people have been suggesting uh, cursed lancer, but personally I don't think that cursed lancer is really needed in the deck because it does apply pressure. I will I will give you that, but it's just that the early pressure that turns into guard at the end because the, it's rarely ever going to hit. And when it does hit, it's kind of useless because the deck is so counterblast heavy as to compared to Revenger, which is able to manipulate counterblast a lot easier. It's just not worth it because one counterblast is not a lot because you probably can just heal that damage later on. And usually you have to, and a good Shadow Paladin player, Paladin player would just you well know how to use the counterblast and when to use it. Whereas a uh, not so good one, not so good. I uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, will not. We'll go all out in the first few turns with counter boss because like if you be smart, if you have this in hand and uh, say this in hand, uh, and you only have like you have the two counter boss. Uh, usually, I would go for the Namain because I want to draw cards instead of just power and retire. Unless if your opponent's running Wingle Brave, then perhaps I would retire it. Yes, then maybe there's exceptions though. And then I run two Maka. I only found that two is fine because most of the time. Since it is just the back column card, uh, I would rather not. I would rather not have it in more than two. But when it, if it was like a Tartu, Revenger Tartu, I would play a lot more of it. And so in that case, I run three Nemain. Uh, pe so, some people play uh, two and then play a Curse Lancer or something or an extra Maka. I prefer the three Nemain because it's just draw power. Although I have been stuck on it once, I did not lose because of it. I just was heavily in damage, but I managed to catch up afterwards. So that's it for uh, grade twos. And now moving on to grade ones. There was minor changes in this. We find the four obligatory blaster javelin. Pretty much standard. We run four obligatory... Uh, AK boosters since uh, there's something better to run right now. Now you could say that you could drop it down for a Gaburu Bao or something, but I find that this is a lot better. And then you run these two. You could. Some people say that it's better to just run one, but I still want it to get it off with the combo, and I don't always want to search it out with Maka because I still want to make. Uh, sometimes I want to make. 16k columns instead of just the 14k columns which can be guarded with, with five easily and then i run four dark shield maclear now i did drop this down to three but then i brought it back up to four because i noticed that i would need more protection and that guru bow was kind of a dead card late game and i would have rather wanted to have this because the setup I already had was full so I wouldn't really need an extra 7k booster and with the deck you need more kind of protection than you do uh, for uh, what should we call it aggression and usually you do have enough to pitch off for him because you have these nemains so that is 60 uh wait no way I don't think it's 16 there's four, six, ten, fourteen. Fourteen grade twos. I mean grade ones. And yeah, I have play tested different variations of this deck, guys. I just prefer how it is right now. Although the trigger lineups, I would probably play six draw if I could, but I can't right now. But anyways, here is the trigger lineup. It's pretty standard. Four heal. Eight criticals. And then four draw. Now, there's nothing much to say about that. You probably end up dropping a trigger here and there to boost or something so that you can use the ability, but that's not that big a deal. It's just that I'd probably drop play more draws because like something that Ill Donut has that this Phantom Blast that PBO does not is the fact that it can draw a huge amount of cards, which allows it to beat sometimes the deck. But that's the only difference in the decks. If this deck had more of a draw power engine, then it could it could, then it could stand up to Ildona. But uh, apart from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, sorry, I haven't been posting up a lot of card fight banger and stuff. Um, I have been thinking about doing improving your game sit segments, but I just don't think that card fight banger is that type of game that you really need 
to have improving your game segments. Although, if you guys really want it, then just let me know because I am more hap I am happy to do it. It's just that I find that it's more of a straightforward game. I know it does require a lot of skill, but it's just more of those games where you just have to know how to do simple math. You know when to guard and when to not, and to play aggressively or not. And whereas way something like Way Schwartz, I've been finding a little bit more fun just because of the fact that it's really more technical because you need to think about it more and there's more uh, reading. It's kind of more reading of your opponent's hand because you need to know when they block and everything. But apart from that, I still like, I still love Carfight Banger. I'm just waiting for the Revengers to come out because I do like Shadow Paladin. And on that note, I am currently still selling the Spectral Duke deck. Now it has the sleeves and everything. Uh, sleeves, yeah. And it does not have the SP Vivian that I said once upon a time, but uh, it does have two Vivians. And anyways, uh, I realized that the price isn't, pricing was a little too high and all that. So if any of you guys want either deck, and if you want it to be changed, please offer me. Just PM me or comment below. It doesn't really matter. I will, and we can sort something out. Because I would ra much rather see you guys happy than... Uh, I would much much rather have a good deal between two like uh, a subscriber or anybody than uh, just be demanding because I want to see what you guys can do and uh, what you guys can offer so that it's not so you guys feel open more inclined to asking what the price is and to perhaps getting it from me and anyways guys uh, I will be back with more Carfight Vanguard soon as soon as I can or will. With deck profiles i might get some more deck profiles from other players from other teams but apart from that yeah just carpet vanguard has been kind of dry lately it's just you know it's, the game's been kind of stale you know it's like uh it's not that fun well it is it is a fun game but it's just not that fun right now as it is because you know nothing really interests me like spectral duke i haven't changed it at all because platina is it's not that great in the deck. Neither is Chrome Jelly. Do not, I guys, I, I've tried many times to use the Chrome Jelly. Where is my other Spectral Duke? Oh, there it is. I've tried many times using Chrome Jelly and Spectral Duke together, which is usually how you should play the deck, and I just do not find it right because you cannot play more than seven grade threes. It's just when you get to eight, it just gets way too cloggy, and then Persona Blasting. And then deciding, because you have the Chrome Jeller and Spectral Duke in your hand, it just makes it too deciding. And you really want to just ride the Spectral Duke. That's how it is, and it's kind of not worth it. Although, if it was a Brit, if it was a cross ride, that would have been a lot better Chrome Jeller, which I thought, which everyone thought it was going to be. But apart from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you stay tuned and subscribe and like and whatever more you want. For these Carfight Vanguard videos, please comment down below and anything else. And uh, this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro, signing off.